Alrighty guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today we have a very special guest. I'm Danielle from All Things Coming. <laughs> so Danielle is also a, I guess, fashion lifestyle blogger. Sure. And yeah. she's a stylist, but today we wanted to do a fun video for you guys because as you know, Coachella just happened and that means that we saw all the looks that everyone served during the weekend. I went, actually, I didn't. Danielle didn't go <laughs> next year, but I saw some of these ones in person, but some of them I also just found on Instagram because everyone, obviously, hashtag Coachella style, festival vibes, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go run through like our favorites and our or un yeah, <laughs> or not so favorite. or least favorites. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So I literally have the first. same photo. <laughs> That's amazing. He always okay. had, like serves you looks at Coachella. Okay, yeah. so he's got his butt out for the win. Um, I mean, it looks good. I didn't yeah. think he worked out this much. I know. And if, if he doesn't work out, I mean, damn. Um, and he was definitely going for like a cowboy sort of vibe or cowgirl vibe, right? Yeah. I, I, and chaps. That, yeah, they're assless chaps. <laughs> assless chaps. <laughs> they're assless chaps, which I feel like is kind of like the Western theme Very was true. a trend. Yeah. But also a lot of assless chaps. Did you see? Well, let's pull up the second one. <laughs> Fucking Tana <laughs> yeah. Mojo right here. They're also friends, so that might have something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but that was asses out. Asses out with thongs, not even like underwear vibes, like bathing suit vibes, but like thong vibes. But I like it. I know. I'm into it. I kind of want to do this next year. <laughs> um, I I, like I'm not. Yeah, I probably won't. <laughs> like, if I had an ass like that, I would, I would do it. I think it. we have to go to more barbell classes. <laughs> yes. Shout out. Leah, can you please get our ass? in shape for next year. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna pull up one of my faves that I saw in person at the Revol Festival because, I mean, we already love her and she's stunning and like supermodel, that kind of gave it away. But like guys, Romy fucking killed it. So I saw her wearing this. Oh, It doesn't that. really look like much here. And it's obviously not a Coachella appropriate outfit. It's like, she's wearing like boots with heels. Right. But she was glowing. Like there was a film crew like filming her at the Revolve Festival, I guess for her vlog content okay. or whatever. And she just looked incredible. But I like that because I, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of when people dress up too much that they're like costumes. True. So I like it that it's like understated, but mm -hmm. trendy. Like she has some leather Western boots. Again, inspired. the Western yeah. vibe. Yeah, yeah no, I like she, it. She looked so good. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll pull up one that kind of goes with that because the reason why I saved this one was because it was like super casual and appropriate, which is like my queen. Oh Sarah my god, Jules. she is a legend. So I love this just because it is appropriate. I feel like it's I realistic to wear. Love it. It, like, yeah, sequin pants, sequin pants, or shorts. Sorry, or yeah, sequin shorts, Chloe. Cool, like trendy um, ombre purse, cool band tee, and like layered jewelry. Almost like it's like a thick, like metal choker. Sort yeah, of jewelry is key for Coachella. Accessories are key, actually. So yeah. like, you can't just wear a fit. You need like a hat, or you need like. And she's wearing like Birkin and like, like it's practical sand. Yeah, yeah practical stuff. sandals that are like strappy. Oh, I think they might be Chanel, actually. Oh my god, can I get those please? Yeah, they're like old school, like remember when you ha I had them, oh my god, maybe this ages me, those like Velcro like sandals when you were young, that like, they looked like this, they were in this shape, Burks and they- look like that. Okay, like I don't think ones? they were Burks, they were very ugly. Oh, like the ugly ones that you yeah. wore like oh, to yeah. camp? Yeah. <laughs> I think I had those. Yeah, like they Velcro. Those are what they look like, but super trendy. Yeah, they're 100% Chanel. Love I have it. to say I'm impressed. Um, another big influencer, since we're on a topic of those, is Ami Song. So she wore another queen. Another queen. I'll show you really quickly. She wore um, this all blue outfit day one of Coachella, and it's so simple, but she's so classy, guys. And obviously, if you're going to rage, like don't wear this outfit. But I don't know. She just looked like a sea of blue. <laughs> Did you see her in person? No, uh, I saw her actually, I saw her like from afar. Mm -hmm. Last year I was like right up there and I was like, oh my God. But like this year I was less, 
I don't know. Yeah. It's more like, wow, well, I'm like part of the crew. No, I'm not even. I didn't even go <laughs> to a ball it. festival through myself, but next year I will. Mm -hmm. um, I was just a guest. Yeah, no, I really like trendy outfits that are she's like still so flowy classy. and boho, but like she's been going for like over ten years. So I mean, if you're going for ten years, I feel like you've gotten over like the aggressive look. Yeah, the first couple, you know, mm -hmm. but like practical but yeah. still trendy. I feel like that's what you have to go to Coachella. Like, it's too much of a costume if you're trying to, yeah. like, wear, like, fairy wings and... I mean, yeah, it's not EDC Festival, which is, like, a whole other story. Or Burning Man. I love yeah, Burning Man, me too. Though. I think we need to be, like, mentally prepared for that, but, like... Did you find that a lot of people wore those, like, um, bandanas because of the... You have to like bring the, one. Yeah, because of the... Dust. Dust, yeah. You literally have to wear a bandana if you're going into Coachella, because when you leave... It's a, like a dust storm and it's literally disgusting. So what did you bring? So I brought one. Oh. I brought like a, it was like a silk handkerchief that I got at like Club Monaco. It's super <laughs> like extra. <laughs> but at the Revolve Festival, they were actually giving out Revolve merch and one of them was this like tie-dye bandana. Oh cool. Which is really cute. So I have another big influencer. I'll show you guys really quick. Camilla. Ugh. And Zimmerman. In Zimmerman. Yeah. Like what? Again, these girls are just like the OGs, so they know what's up. But like, she wore long sleeve because it was at nighttime, oh, and I love the hair, like the long braids. I mm -hmm. I did this for Oshiega last year with like well with like extra pink hair in it, but I just love the braids. Me too. But like, she thought <laughs> through the hair. Yeah. She thought through the accessories. Yeah, it's not just like oh here's my outfit. And yeah. Like, that's it, and like your hair's just like straight. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a vibe. No, she looks really good. Okay. Oh my, oh my god, I just found one that I need to call. That you don't that like. That I don't like. Oh no. Okay, so we all know who this is, hopefully. Um, and I literally saw him twice at two different events during Coachella. Um, and he was wearing a fucking robe. Like, who wears a robe to a festival, guys? Yes, I am talking about Jay Alvarez. <laughs> Okay, he's cool, he's cool, we get it, but like, don't wear a fucking hotel robe, you know? I know it's a statement, and like, now that I see he tagged it, bathroom vibes. It was just like, stupid. And he was just like, rolling around on his like, fucking scooter. But like, I love you, Jay, if you ever want to meet me. Like, I'm super down. <laughs> no, I mean, it's definitely an interesting, um... It's just like, um, I'm so cool. cool. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Choice. Interesting choice. No. <laughs> What's one that you fucking hated? Well, okay. <laughs> I hate to call out um, this YouTuber singer. That Lily is... Collins. Okay, this is so ugly. <laughs> okay, so this, this is, is what so I mean. This is so ugly. This is just Lele? Is it Lele? Lele? Oh, Lele? Lele. <laughs> oh, I know who oh, this is. Oh, okay. Lele. Okay, Lele. Um... Yeah, she just looks like a carnival creature. And this is what I mean by like costume. It's like where, and also I would be surprised. Like, does is it just for a photo? Are you spending the day in is it? Is she like? Oh, is she even tag? Like, did she tag? No, no brands. It was no brand. Fully her creative decision to also, dress like this. Also, not specifically like her makeup, but did you find that there was a trend of like very much like bejeweled and like. Um, Actually, so I went to the Revolve um, gifting suite and Benefit was there because they partnered with Benefit. I mean, that's like every music festival. Yeah. Okay. But they did, Benefit was doing like eyebrow shaping okay. and like he did some bedazzling on my actual, um, on my look oh, for cool. one day. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it. Oh yeah, I like It was that. just like under the yeah, brow, super I like simple. That. But if I was going to an electronic music festival, like, like EDC, I feel like this is the only one I can reference, I would do like a full bedazzled look. Because you, right. you want to look like a fairy. Coachella is more like for the cool kids, you know? It's like more of like, I swear, it's more like a status yeah, fashion even fest. this. Like, I actually don't mind her hair here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I honestly hate this. Can you, we'll show them, but this I is mean, not cute. Some people did really good hair looks, I have to say. Yeah, like I wouldn't, okay, I wouldn't mind the hair if, if it was just like not purple. And also everything else was toned down and the hair was the focal point. I think she looks like an anime, like... I mean, maybe that's what she was going for. So on the topic of hair, I love doing hair for festivals. I did not do anything for my hair this year because I was boring. But again, like I said, for Oshiega, I did these like sick braids with like pink weaved into it. And I would definitely recommend doing hair for a festival because it totally makes or breaks an outfit. One like obviously super popular trend is like 
long, long, long hair and pink hair. So I really like Wolfie Cindy's look. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I actually have that saved. <laughs> So I really like the pink long hair, um, and the durag is a trend. It was like a huge trend for the festival. She wore it, um, Sophie wore it, and like a bunch of other people too. Um, and then this hair. Yeah, I love that. Um, Janelle Seldon, guys, fucking killed it. Look at that. She literally has like the most obnoxiously long hair, but it looks so good. Kind of like a unicorn pony vibes. Yeah. Right? But I would, I would like totally do that. do that. I mean, if you can like work with a brand that will like do your hair, or, or if you can pay for someone to do it, then I would definitely go all out. Any hair trends you liked? Um, hmm. The braid, and we like the braids. So we like the braids, well, we like pink yeah. hair, and we like long I also hair. saved pink hair with Winnie. Oh, I saw her in person, guys. Loved this neon with her pink hair. I thought it was Nice and clashy, but yeah. it worked. <laughs> I loved just like the neon looked so good. She was literally she's wearing her filas, so mm -hmm. it's practical, like no heels or anything. Mm -hmm. um, she was literally doing this photo shoot when I was at the festival, and like just she was just doing her thing. Her photographers following her around, like everyone else was just like, "You do your thing, girl," and like she was fucking killing it. See, this is an this is an example of how hair can make a make break. break. Cause if she had normal, just like brown hair, mm -hmm. it would have just been boring. But with the pink hair, it really- I wanted your pink hair next year, but I feel like it's gonna be so like last year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also the like liner that's neon or pink, that's mm. a huge makeup trend I feel. Yeah. Like just that one pop of color. Yeah, super cute. Um. So like a boring outfit <laughs> would be- That is so boring. Just. Amanda, um, love it's, her, but just like pretty boring yeah. outfit. Um, She's this really is wearing like a just like a fucking knit dress. Like you wear that yeah. to the beach when you go on vacation. It's just like not really doing anything for me. And it's such a, it's a, it's a place where you can kind of express yourself. <laughs> Clearly, she's a boring ass bitch. <laughs> so one look that I really like that is also like more of a trendy look, not trendy in like fashion, not like trendy festival, um, was Risa's. So she's like the oh. chief brand um, officer at Revolve. Obviously, she killed it, but like she really fucking killed it. No, yeah. no she's no, wearing like paper bag jeans with the new Chanel like little kitten wet sandals. Mm -hmm. And then just like a lace romper and again, the, again what sincerely Jules was wearing yeah. with like the big I don't know sort of metal industrial vibe um, choker. See I'm into the trendy fashionable, but mm -hmm. still Festival appropriate, but like you would sweat if you wore this to the festival. Ugh, that's the only thing Yeah, but I mean That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Alrighty guys. So I think that's our roundup. Yep. That's like our faves slash not faves. There wasn't anything like too, like, there wasn't too many awful looks. I don't no, think. No, everyone was on trend-ish. <laughs> and I think it's mostly because like half of the people there were wearing Revolve. <laughs> That's true. Right? Western was a huge trend. Western was a trend. See through. Pink hair. Yeah. Assless chaps. Yeah. You name it. Hopefully next year will be just as good or even better. And hopefully next year I can go. Next year we are going, guys. <laughs> yeah. We are manifesting yeah. that right now. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys want to see more videos with us, let me know us. in the comments. Um, we're down for like kind of whatever. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> let us know. And if you guys have any looks from Coachella that you absolutely loved, let us know in the comments below as well. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.